gravity. Lack of gravity. During the exercise program, they would make us dive into large swimming pools to simulate the feeling of floating in space. Well, it's not the same. Zero gravity affects you in a bigger way, more intimate. It affects every part of your body. Your organs float inside of you. Your tongue floats in your mouth. Everything tries to balance. Everything reaches toward equilibrium. time that I stayed on the station for more than 72 hours. I was scared, but I had to sleep for a few hours. I couldn't see an end to this experience. I started to lose the sensation of my body. My hands, my arms, the rest of my body were leaning on the empty space. My body tried to balance. It became silent. Perception stopped. The only movement I felt was the flow of my blood. I could distinguish its ebb from its flow. From this moment on, the experience took an unexpected turn. Carefully observing what was happening to my body, my thoughts stopped flowing. I knew that, according to Buddhism, that meditation was essentially an interruption of conscious thoughts stopping your brain from working, to allow it to get to the essential truth. Supposedly a simple experience, but not so in reality. It's possible that the cells in the brain, the molecules, the atoms that comprise it, so similar to the planets and the orbital systems, try to find a balance, an affinity to the outside. And suddenly, I am on the outside. Observing my body floating in the station, I observe the universe. I am the universe. I observe. I am. In the beginning we knew what we were looking for, but in the end we found something else.